Hello everyone. Welcome back to the new episode from Hanora 3D. In today's video, we will see what kind of help can we get from the Morpho modifier for our work. Usually, we use it for facial expression, but we can also use it to change the basic shape of our mesh to another. However, there is a one thing we should keep in mind before using the Morpho. Think, now you are ready to work with Morpho. Before that, you need to make sure the base object vertices and target vertices count must be the same because otherwise we can't work with him all right now you know the important basic thing to know about morpher when you're gonna deal with him so let's begin okay i've already set my scene so in this case the sps behave as the base object while cubes are my target now we can add morpher to our base object before that i will show you how i made the cube from the spa maintain the same vertex count. Select the base object and add the morpher from the modify list. Then go to the channel list section of the parameter rollout. We can see the modifier provides 100 channels for targets. Alright, now we have to do is add our target to the channel. There are two ways to do that. The first one is right click on the empty channel and click pick from scene then choose target. Otherwise select an empty channel first then click the pick object from scene in the channel parameters then choose the target. Ok, let's increase the value of the channel to see how it works. You can see when we increase the value, each sphere transforms to the cube at the same time. Alright then, now let's do it again but this time with the volume select modifier. The volume select modifier helps us to create a specific selection of vertices and faces, like this. And also we can share this selection with other modifiers. So through the volume select modifier we can apply effects or transformations to only the selected parts of the object. In this case I choose the vertex in the selection level and Choose the mesh object in the select by volume group because I am going to select the vertices through an object. Now we can add the morpher. Ok then, drag the control spear over the base spears to see the result. It works but you can see the edges are sharp because there is no flow of the selection. To fix this click the use soft selection. So now we can see that everything is perfect. Ok I think now you have an idea how we deal with morpher and how to get help from volume select when we work with morpher okay if you enjoyed and learned something new don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend see you soon with another video